Hey there, YouTube. Uh, today we are going in the Wayback Machine to the year 1988. That's right. Okay, so what we have here is a Dumas Scarab uh, 38kV, uh, 55 inch. Um, so you would have been able to buy this. Uh, I believe as a kit or fiberglass haul there from Dumas um, in the late 80s and I don't know what the range from there. And uh, this I believe is the hardware that you would have gotten. Uh, aside from the water pickup, I added that. Um, so, my plans for this boat... Other than making it a Miami Vice uh, replica, which I don't know how if I'm going to do that, but uh, I do like the Cama race boats from the day. Uh, it might look like that, but that's all. That's basically just a white boat with uh, Cama down the side here. Um, <clears throat> so I originally bought this boat and was going to. Um, make it electric powered for cheap. Uh, then um, plans didn't work out as thought and uh, I couldn't build it for buying new stuff at the time. So uh, it got benched for a little bit and then I came up with an idea at one point about uh, using a weed eater motor in it and um, that went by the wayside then there was plans to put a Zenoa motor into it and that again never formalized so right now we are going back to the original plan that's right when plan Z fails you go back to plan A so, <clears throat> I have acquired a cool little uh, 6354 uh, 295 kV monster power and a uh, 8S capable uh, 120 amp ESC and a pair of uh, 4S batteries, uh, the ones that I normally run in the Remora. So we're going back electric. Um, <clears throat> I thought about updating the running hardware, but on the fact of I have almost everything to do uh, it with the current hardware and I don't have to drill new holes in the pretty nice hull, mm, or so. Um, I'm just going to go uh, with the original hardware and uh, the 6354 motor there. I got a quarter scale uh, servo, throw that in it for uh, steering. And uh, I don't believe any of it will be water cooled, so I can plug off my water cooling or run it around and make it look cool as it sprays out the side for no apparent reason because it won't be going through anything um, so yeah that's the plan now uh, I believe I found a motor mount that I can use that will uh, work with that motor um, and I think that'll be the easiest setup and then um, I've got uh, brass tubing for the stuffing or t stuffing tube there, and then um, I've got all the weed eaters for the prop shaft or for the drive shaft there, down to the uh, rut or strut rudder there. So, uh, oh yeah. The cool part, but somebody hacked it a bit. Uh, 
Come on, focus. The original Dumas boat stamp there, or sticker, or whatever it is. It's hard to see, but there it is. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I just wish the water line didn't go through it, but there's nothing I can do to tell the person to not drill the water line through it. Uh, I've already updated the water port at the side because it just was uh, just brass tube sticking out there and you don't uh, poke yourself with this. So that's an added benefit. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, Duma Scarab. And then uh, I might either fill the holes, they had a rail or whatever up there, I'll either fill those or uh, fill those a little bit better or f make a railing for it. Who knows? But we'll see. So, yeah, hopefully uh, my plan comes together like I hope and uh, that would be cool. I don't know why this is focusing all over the place, but to where I want it to. Okay. So, all right. We'll see uh, if we make progress on this now. See ya.